What's up guys, welcome to your 41st Java tutorial. And in this tutorial, as promised, I'm going to be building four different uh, objects. And these objects are going to use this tune class. And depending on how much information they have them, they're going to use a different constructor for each one. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So let's get some spacing right there so you can see it good. Adjust my headphone and bam, I'm good to go. So in order to make objects, let's go ahead and name this tuna object, and we'll set uh, this one equal to new tuna, and this isn't going to take any arguments at all. So if we go look in our tuna class right here, and you know that it has no arguments because nothing's in here, we look at which one of these constructors has no arguments. Well, this one has an hour, this one has an hour and a minute, that's two numbers, this one has three numbers, but this one right here has no arguments right here so what it's going to do is insert three arguments and call this constructor again so then it's going to go down here where this one takes zero 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 it's going to set the time to zero 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 and then set the hour to zero and mint to zero and second to zero so now that we have that let's go ahead and build some more objects but this time let's give them different parameters or different arguments so let's go ahead and copy this and paste, paste, paste. And we'll name this tuna object 2, 3, and 4. And we'll give this one, tuna object 2, we'll give it one parameter. We'll give it an hour of 5. We'll give tuna object 3 two parameters. We'll give it an hour of 5 and a minute of 13. And we'll give tuna object 4 an hour of 5, minute of 13, and seconds of like 43 or something. So, for example, this one right here, it has two arguments. So, it's going to look at this constructor right here. Is this constructor good for me? No, this has zero arguments and I got two. So, I'm not using you. What about, can th is this constructor good for me? Well, I got two numbers and this one only lets me insert one. So, uh-uh, I ain't using you. What about this one? Well, this has three and I only got two. So, I don't think so. Oh, bam, the last one's just right. I got two, you got two, let's use it baby. So that pretty much uh, what happens with these objects. That's what's going on right now. But now that we got these objects, let's go ahead and actually use them. And so let's just go ahead and print out the time. So system out printf, we'll just do a simple print format. And again, this takes two arguments. The first argument is how you wanna format it and I want to format it and since we're going to be using um, this right here sh public string to military this returns a string so we probably want to put a uh, percent string with a new line right there and actually new line goes this way I believe that would have been embarrassing and so this one returns a string so now we can use our tuna object and then put something like two military with no arguments and what this is going to do is it is going to return our tuna object with no arguments right here so let's go ahead and you might as well do the other ones right now while we got this nice and copied uh, this is tuna object two three and four now let me run this and make sure I don't have any errors and hopefully it runs right and bam look at this now the first one was object, uh, it was just tuna object and we didn't enter any parameters. The second one we entered a 5 for the hour and it filled in 0 for the rest. The second one we entered a 5 for hour and 13 for minute and it filled in the rest to 0. And this uh, last one, tuna object 4, it filled in all of them for us. Or actually we did it ourselves. So let me see if I can position this right since my screen recorder is messing up again and now let me go through one of these and show you guys exactly what a dud not dud why the heck did I say that so anyways let's just pick one that you can understand easy and how about tuna object 3 right here we made an object that had two parameters right here 5 and 13 so it went to tuna where it creates everything and it went to our constructors and it says alright which one of these constructors has two arguments this one has two arguments right here so I'm gonna use this one this one has 0 1 
and 3. So I'm going to use this one that has 2. Well, what it did was plugged in, what was our numbers, 5 and 13. It used the 5 for hour, the 13 for minute, and it used the default of 0. And it called this constructor again, but this time it used its three new numbers. So whenever you use the three numbers, it it uses this constructor right here. And what this constructor does is set time. It calls the set time method. So now it says, all right, I'm going to send you to the set time method. So let's scroll down and see what the set time method tells us to do. Well, it tells us to do three more methods right here. Set hour was pretty much check if it was between 0 and 24, which it was. It was 15, I mean 5. Set minute checked if it was between 0 and 60, which it was. And set second, that was that 0 it plugged in for us. Um, that We didn't have to do anything for that. So then we said, all right, we're good there. So then when we finally called um, the two military uh, method, what did it do? Well, it pretty much just said, all right, we want to use this method for that object right here. So what we're going to do is get that hour, which was 5, get that minute, which was 13, get that second, which was 0 by default, and I'm just going to return them all to you in a nice, pretty-looking string format right here. So that is why whenever we called this to military, it just outputted the string right down here. 5130. So that is, of course, um, a very complicated way, but again, you need to know it on how you can use overloaded constructors to, let me scroll down here, to make a bunch of different constructors based on how much information you enter. And in that example I just told you, since we entered two, it picked this constructor. And that is how you can pretty much. Um, use different objects with different amounts of information in it. So um, this will be clear when we be when pretty much we're building um, more programs. And this was just an example, so it might be a little fuzzy right now, but you'll understand eventually in the next couple of tutorials. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you understand at least the basics of overloaded constructors and how they are useful when creating objects with different argument links. So again, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next tutorial.